Good morning, this is Alamon, and welcome back to Taiwan Typhoon. Uh, actually, my terrible secret is this is me in the editing room again. The first couple minutes of audio for this episode um, got destroyed due to, you know, glitchy microphone stuff. It will suddenly cut in in about two minutes or so. So, uh, hope you stick around until then. Right now, I'm pretty much just looking at the world map anyway, talking about that nice, robust Sweden... So exciting, this big Lithuania stretching from the Baltic to the Caspian, the beautiful Iberia. Um, trying to remember if there was anything especially weird to comment on. Of course, we have the Hanseatic Denmark here. Um, oh yeah, we have a very nice 13 colonies and a basically French Canada. Pretty historical, other than the fact that uh, Spain and Portugal are inverted And I guess I'm just talking about how nice and green the map is. Alright, well, um, I'll leave it off here because I can't really do post-commentary on this so well. Again, it will, the, uh, you know, normal audio will cut in quite soon. See you then. Yeah, our local autonomy everywhere is just plunging because we have that economic idea. Centralization. So presumably all the places that are grayed out have no local autonomy. It'd be nice to get into at least one or two good European wars, I think, before we uh, hang up the old outrigger paddle or whatever. Uh, looks like there's nowhere else to expand to the west. All the little islands have been taken. It is pretty much this area of the world and the Pacific coast that still have a lot of places free. Just lovely amounts of money. How's that missionary doing? Uh, getting close to 75. That's yeah, wrecked a little bit because we don't have stability. There, that more than doubled the speed. Alright, Yos Sudarzo or whatever. Let's continue wrapping around the island. <laughs> I can't even click these away fast enough. Although it is speed 5, of course. Ah, they were building a heavy ship. I missed that one. I think we're already at our piety. No, we're not. Okay, absolutely. Get the rest of our piety then. 1.5%, great. Um, What do you think of us now, Ottomans? Don't really care. Yeah, because we're so far away. At least the Bahmanis like us.
Daru is about to finish. Well, okay, French. France. I'm glad that the Bahmanis joined. So we actually vastly outnumber them in terms of ships. Somehow. Um, but we should not get complacent. We should build large numbers of heavy ships. Actually, I'd rather not use the template. It gets a little annoying. Okay. Whoops, uh, I did two there. Actually, no, these are going to take way too long, the 400-some-day ones. Well, at least we don't have anything that makes us um, build ships slowly right now. All right, that should probably be enough. Although I would like to get more light ships. So let's get all of our fleets together in Malacca. I mean, where does France even border us? Like, where's this attack going to come from? I have no idea. Well, we need to keep our troops protecting the colonies. Let's un-mothball. They should repair up pretty quickly. Uh, by the way, do we have any more trade buildings? Yes, we do. Kind of expensive, but this is how we make most of our money. Not literally most of our money. Ah, uh, stability increase is good. Yeah. That'll at least make those missionaries finish faster. Coalition. That's the first time we've seen a coalition. So, any French anywhere? Not that I can see yet. Mm. Oh, did this get bigger? No, no. I guess I should probably recruit an admiral bad admiral, but uh, better than nothing. Uh, we could reform the government now. I'm obviously not going to do that while I'm at war, though. Chief Religious Unity. That is possible. We'll take the mission. Might take a while. We're very close to getting another military tech level, which might be a good idea. Uh, of course, my plan, if it's not obvious yet, is... Um, Actually, I don't know what ships are to upgrade in this stack. Oh, they must all be light ships, actually. Uh, let's still do it. Let's still do it. Um, but yeah, it's to stop them before they can even land on us. And we have so many islands that even if they do manage to land somewhere, it's unlikely that they'll be able to do that much damage. What is the war goal? Take our capital. Yeah, so it's imperialist war. That's what I kind of figured. So they might be going straight for our capital. I wish that there were, like, an easier way to monitor <laughs> for enemy ships. Some more ships we can upgrade. I'd rather not have any obsolete ships. And actually... I could... Well, I just spent some money to upgrade some ships, but... Um, that'll get us more money. Yeah, and it's expensive, but again, we get so much money, I'm okay with it. Uh, and that'll be the military level. Let's just do it. Make ourselves a little less vulnerable in case we do have to fight. 
Uh, here is a fleet. Just five light ships. On the 31st of August. So we're going to come out right now. And it should be an immediate route. Yeah. We even captured one of their ships, which is awesome. Wait, um... Just more light ships. That's weird. And you're coming to Straits of Johor on the 26th. For 25. I have no idea where their fleet's going to come from. I mean, obviously, we've taken a couple little fleets out. Still no possible rivals. Well, we filled in the entire island of New Guinea. I did not think that was going to be possible. So I feel good about that, at least. Good. That was the one really hard province. The rest of these aren't going to take that long. I'm actually going to take that tick box away because I know I want to reform the government, just not while I'm at war. And this will also give us a chance to build up a lot of administrative power. Ah, yes. These uh, ships are starting to finish. I have no idea what the French were thinking when they declared on me. No general, and we have a female roller. Well, we have one out of one leaders. You guys, eh, that general's not that great. Well, while we have the chance... Actually, this fleet's all done repairing anyway. While we have the chance, let's grab all of these ships. And maybe park somewhere a little more central. Like Cebu. Wow, they uh, made a lot of siege progress very fast. They have a lot of cavalry. Ugh. Battle's not going as well as I would have liked. That's a lot of manpower to lose. Almost exactly 1,000, or 10,000, rather. I guess our maximum's quite high, though. Alright, so we do... Ah, that's right. I forgot I recruited those light ships also. It's good to have light ships because it increases your fleet maneuver rating, which in turn increases the uh, damage that you do. I'm actually not sure of all the things that that affects, but I do know that damage is one of them. Sorry for the uh, motion sickness inducing jerking the camera around like this, but again, I have no idea where the French fleet is, and it's freaking me out a little. And let's just take care of those peasants for our vassal there because uh, their main army is still here and will never leave. Alright, let's call this an episode though. You know, hopefully the French will eventually want to peace out. Uh... Oh, that's actually hilarious. Relative strength of alliances. They have a negative modifier there. And we do have more troops overall. That's remarkable. Well, we'll leave it there. Good night, sleep tight, and don't let the grayskin bite. Bye-bye.